and I'm going to do part two, but I want it to be interactive. And I thought, I just got done with the consultation. And again, I have a woman who's listened to all these other gurus tell her what to do. And it completely destroyed her health. She's like, this person told me to take all these supplements. This person told me to take some uh, potassium chloride. This person said I need to take vitamin D. They told me I needed to take an enzyme with uh, betaine HCL. What else do people have? Uh, betaine HCL, lipase, pepsin, uh, protease mixture. People are saying eat this much protein and lower the fat if you want to lose weight and intermittent fast. And, you know, you can't do keto for the long term because it'll destroy your thyroid. One thing that I want you guys to do is follow the affiliate links. Not to say that I won't ever have any, right? Because I have had uh, um, ancestral supplements in the past. But I'm very careful with who I work with because I want to work with companies I believe in that will actually help y'all. But follow how many affiliate links people have. Follow the trends. Follow if they tell you anything that sounds easy. Because if it sounds easy, run. Run the opposite direction. Get garlic in a cross and be like, be gone, evil. The reason why you guys get in this mess is because you're listening to all these gurus, including me. Use your critical thinking. Because at least I can save my ass by saying, I'm not following the trends. You guys know I've been around for like 5,000 years. Okay? I'm ancient. Not only am I older in age, but I'm also ancient for being on the internet. And I keep being there and you see that stuff's always the same. I don't follow a damn trend. Okay. I have followed trends and got off the second I got on like the coconut oil trend, the MCT oil trend, the uh, MCT, or is it the MCT, lauric acid, coconut oil, stevia, uh, what other, oh, bone broth or bone collagen trend because I didn't know any better. I was like, oh my God, this is so great. Bone, bone marrow is so good. So I want to go over some of these idiot things that people say that they all say and follow the likes, follow the amount of followers they have, follow the money and follow the affiliate links. And then you'll have your answer. I could do the same damn thing. Y'all I get approached nonstop to, to, um, to get, have an affiliate link program. Like there's one company that has like these chips that are in every different kind of way. Like, um, they have like, you know, and I was like, wow, this is a great idea. They sell like ribeye chips, like dehydrated slivers. They have lamb, they have chicken, they have, uh, they have all this kind of stuff, but people start having histamine reactions to it. So I'm like, Ooh, I don't want to push something where I constantly have to say, I'm sorry, push that. And I'm sorry. You're having like inflammation, runny nose, itchy skin, eczema flare up, right? There's one liver chip. I think I'm going to reach back out to that guy. His name is Aurelius and he's got the best liver chips and I have not seen people react on it, but that's a whole nother conversation. The point that I want to say is be careful what they tell you to do. I'm going to go over some of these dumb things that gurus say without picking up and, you know, I, I, I literally could get my channel to have a zillion views just doing weekly let's follow the money laughable friggin gurus and what they push and what they say um and and th yeah it would be quite interesting and entertaining but i just can't be bothered i'm too busy <laughs> and i don't care now some people in the carnivore say you cannot do carnivore without having honey or some of them start eating honey and grapes the reason why they're eating anything with sugar is because they don't feel good on straight meat. You know why? Because they're dehydrated and their blood sugar is unstable. So there's two different things of blood sugar instability and then dehydrated. Sugar is going to make your cells swell up like a balloon with fluid. In that fluid, you're going to 
hold on to your electrolytes. That's why when a lot of people do low carb, they're like, oh my God, I feel so bad. And my muscles are cramping. I have heart palps and I'm not sleeping that well. My blood sugar is going crazy and I'm constipated. Dehydration, people. They don't tell you that because that don't make no money. But then if it does money, it does make money, listen to the sirens, they'll pass soon. She used to think I'd back in, be back in LA. Then they'll say, oh, take this elixir. I'm selling this uh, electrolyte powder mixture of nonsense. And you look, there's like 20,000 chlorides in there that damage your kidneys. I cannot with this stuff. I can't make this stuff up. And then people start taking that and it doesn't make them feel better. This is going to be noisy because there's something wrong with this drawn here. I should just take off the top. I don't know how many of these water bottles I've gone through. I stripped them before I'd sip water people throughout the day. It's another thing they don't tell you. They just sell you an elixir. You cannot, people, get your electrolytes all from Redmond's Real Salt, um, which is great. It's got a great mineral, mineral content. But because our guts are destroyed, we're not hunter-gatherers anymore. We can't even get our magnesium from plants. The soil, it's gone. Bye-bye. So we have to do supplemental concentrated amounts of, of, of magnesium, and you're not going to get that much in any of these salts, especially Redmond's, which is a high-quality salt, or Celtic, Celtic, or even, excuse me, high-concentrated Himalayan salt without metal chips in it. Yes. Uh, I like to separate everything. If you need, do not take multivitamins, by the way. That's a whole nother subject. Do not take the vitamin DK2. Don't do that. No, no. Uh, we want to separate our supplements and only take what our particular DNA needs and not a drop more. Yes. Now, uh, these chloride elixirs for your potassium chloride and your magnesium chloride. Don't do that. Don't do it. <laughs> don't. Oh, please don't. I have too many people with issues with their kidneys on these chlorides. Look at the labels, people, from now on. Number two, the naturopathic doctors. Oh, my God. They're just as bad as the doctors. Not all of them. But 99% of them take blood tests. Yes. Oh, let's test, text, test, text. Let's test your stool. Let's test your thyroid. Let's test your A1C. Oh, I've got these. I've got berberine and I've got ash ashwagandha and I've got slippery elm and I've got, oh, and I've got the betaine and I've got the ox bile and they just start selling you products. Follow the money, people. And then you watch how people don't get better. You guys cannot shortcut yourself into better health. The intermittent fasting, one meal a day, like embarrassing. Where are you going to get your electrolytes from? And people still will push the narrative, like yesterday in my live stream. Yeah, but sometimes, you know, uh, intermittent fasting works for people. I'm like, what does that mean that it works? Why do we just use dumb blanket statements that don't show nothing? And then people will be like, it worked for them. Where's my pendulum? It worked for them. So what that they say? They're always saying something. Talking mouths, talking heads. Stop listening to these people. Even if you have to stop listening to me, I don't care. But please, people, do your research. Research a lot of stuff. And then use your critical thinking. Do some experimentation. And then come up to your understanding. I don't know how many people I've said, don't eat that. You've got histamine. You have eczema, your eczema is from this, and then they keep eating it. And eight years later, like, oh my God, Stephanie, you're so right. I've been suffering for eight more years because I didn't listen because I didn't want to stop eating that food because they said it was okay to eat. Yeah, the protein problem. And what is up with Texas? Like now it's hot as shite. It was freezing last night. Now I'm in my car in a tank top with my air conditioning on. I did energy. <laughs> uh, what about the protein? People eat protein, you guys, a lot of protein, not because eating a, pro a lot of protein is good for you and it grows muscles. No, they eat a lot of protein because they're hungry. The, st the stomach's like, Row! because people don't eat enough fat because some idiot said, if you eat fat on keto, ketones, keto short for ketones are units of fat. 
not protein. You cannot make this dumb, dumb stuff up. What are you guys? Stop listening to people. Follow what's logical because you will injure yourself and you will not be fabulous as you get older. Like me at 54. What I mean is fabulous in having your own mind, fabulous in doing the research, using your critical thinking. That's what's fabulous. And everything else is just icing on the cake. Because if you learn how to use your critical thinking, everything in life will come to you, you guys. Stop listening. I don't care if it's what's happening in the world today or if they're telling you to do stuff. I don't care. Please learn what's in everything. What's in the supplements they tell you to take, like vitamin D. Why don't you just get outside, get in the sun? You don't have sun? Get a spirit tea lamp. S-P-E-R-T-I. Vitamin D three lamp. Sit your ass in front of it. I've worked with so many clients that do well on these types of D3 lamps that are high quality. Mm. Now I got a, uh, a, um, infrared uh, lamp because they said, Oh my God, it's amazing. And I got it at the paleo effects. I was a speaker at this event and you know, you have all these companies like, Oh, we want to sponsor you affiliate program. I was like, oh my God, I get this really expensive, huge red light thing. And I was wondering why, why do some of them have the red light from the neck down? And this thing machine was like all over you. Well, I developed the worst case of melasma I've seen, which is big, huge, dark, like baboon spraying me on the face with diarrhea stains. I was like, and the more they came out, the more I did it. Because I was like, oh, it'll help fix it. Because that's what I was told. And without me doing no damn research, I ruined my skin. Not ruined the skin, but I gave myself hyperpigmentation. My car's like, turn off the car. So what y'all need to do, and what I learned, and so I Googled it. I was like, oh, does does infrared lead to melasma in some women? Some, not all. And it does. I was like, don't. Why am I listening to these people? Stephanie, don't just take anything. Don't take a product. Don't put anything in your mouth, on your skin without doing your research. That's why people are like, well, what brand? I'm like, I'm not going to tell you what brand. You need to do your research. Because if you do your research, then you're going to have success. And if you don't do your research and you're just going to listen to them because they look good, well, this person's got muscles and he eats a lot of protein, but nobody told you that he was taking the roids, the stairs. And the roids, nobody's, nobody's, and the, y'all don't have the eye for it. I do. I'm like, she on it, he on it. Really? I'm like, you can't see that person's on T. Y'all people wake up and note, it is hard to gain muscle for everybody. Unless you're freaking 18 year old or 20 year old male who's in good condition, who hasn't been max that's a whole nother subject don't get triggered i'm trying to help y'all <laughs> you do you you need salt when people tell you, you don't need salt i've seen people start to develop heart conditions with not eating salt please people high blood pressure be very careful and all those keto products are garbage and by beta hydroxybutyrate salts are garbage And intermittent fasting on one one meal a day, get your body to break down amino acids. And if you don't believe me, get a glucometer. Don't argue with me and test your blood sugar. That's what, hi guys. That's what you need to do. I think I'm going to do more of a series of this. You can do keto for the long term, but before believing me, do everything that needs to be done. I'm going to turn off this car. Do everything that needs to be done. Do a lot of experimentation. Do journaling and watch your body. Do your own N equals one experiment, but with an objective mind. Coffee is not ketogenic. 
chocolate is not ketogenic. Coconut oil is not ketogenic. It's not. We're made out of animal fat, not coconut oil. So the com composition of just saturated fats without the other fatty acids or the vitamin, fat soluble vitamins is the problem right? It's great. Lauric acid is great. It's great for the brain. It's great for the microbes in your gut to kill off some of the bad microbes, but it's very difficult to keto adapt us on coconut oil. This AP, APO4 gene where people feel like can't eat animal fat. I have not seen a person not adapt on olive oil only. And I have not see, seen anybody have to cut out anyone because of this gene mutation. And I've seen people with the MTHFR gene mutation and they can't methylate, they can't absorb their B12, be successful once they heal the gut wall. Take your time, learn what y'all need to learn, which how is hot and I need to, stuff's got to go. I can talk on and on about this, but stop listening to these gurus without a critical ear. If it sounds too easy, it is. All good things come with hard work. There's no shortcut in your health, right? 54, 14, going on 15 years of strict keto, no freaking fasting. Steph's got the gains. I'm just in the car. <laughs> on no fasting, no, no, no progesterone cream, no estrogen cream. Women get off that stuff. It messes your gut wall up. The, the teas, the tannins that demineralize you and take iron away. You know, you guys, the green teas, all this garbage, all these trends. Take a step back and learn about tannins and teas. Learn about phytic acid in plants. Learn about salicylates and oxalates and gortrogens and nightshades and lectins, saponins. It's real. What about the carnivore diet? Like, you can do carnivore forever. Oh, I'm sorry, except your electrolytes go to crank in it. H-E-double-L -L because you don't get enough potassium in. You're not getting enough salt in. And we would if we were hunter-gatherers because we would have plants sometimes. And we wouldn't have a destroyed gut. The intermittent fasting is no hunter-gatherer be like, no, I'm sorry. I'm not eating right now. It's not my window. Let me do some cardio. They would laugh at us. You have to imagine we don't have the same guts as they had. So we are already going through pregnant alone steel. Oh, don't even get me started on the cholesterol myth that people are afraid of butter and egg yolks. And the protein powders, whey and casein. I could continue going on and on. But comment below. Tell me what you guys think. I have a course where I cover low carb high fat if you have a hard time keto adapting. If you have hypoglycemia or thyroid conditions. But you can you can heal your thyroid, but it has to be done the right way or you can frack yourself up. Uh, keto omnivore and avivore, carnivore with an avocado. If you can't do carnivore, uh, avocado, then there's other things, supplement, which I hate, um, for the, as a necessary evil. Uh, also, carnivore protocol for a short time to heal the gut wall so you don't have to do a longer stint of carnivore, which lowers your diamine oxidase. I could do going on and on, guys, like with the uh, organ supplements, how people have histamine response to them, and bacon and cheese and on and on. Now I got to go. You can join my course through stephanieperson.com. You can sign up for a consultation where I will get you started and I will be a lot more calm. I'm done with these freaking trucks passing by because I'm le legit out of trucker stop. And I'm out. Stop listening to these people and start using your critical thinking. I should have had emojis or gifts that like, like point to the brain. Start using that. And I'm out. Uh, my Instagram is Stephanie Ketogenic. My Facebook is in Stephanie the Business, as in the body business person. I've got some energy, 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 energy. And I moved from California, where I'm from, to Texas, but I'm moving onward because I need mountains, even though the weather is scrumptious today because it's February, first week, and beautiful and sunny outside. Just, oh, it's gorgeous weather. And I'm out. Peace, guys.